Hi, I'm Don Barr, publisher of Sports Illustrated. And I'm Mark Mulvoy, the managing editor. You've picked a great time to join Sports Illustrated. Over the next six months, we have some very exciting things coming your way, especially some great special issues. Of course, every week is important to us. You'll be getting the great writing and photography you expect from Sports Illustrated, covering the action of that week. 1988, of course, is an Olympic year. In the middle of January, we will provide 150 pages of editorial coverage, a special preview issue of the Calgary Olympics, and then, of course, we go into the middle of February when we have our bathing suit spectacular, followed by three great weeks of coverage of the 1988 Winter Olympics from Calgary. In March, it's coverage of the NCAA basketball tournament, leading down to the Final Four in Kansas City. Then in April, it's our annual baseball spectacular issue, a preview of the entire baseball season. Mark, I'm going to be on the links and out at the ballpark a little this summer, but it sure doesn't sound like you and your associates are going to have much time for that. But I can promise you that we're committed to using the latest technology to bring you the world of sport week in and week out better and faster than ever before. When it comes to covering the world of sports, Sports Illustrated has always been number one. And I can promise you that we're going to remain that way. Again, welcome to the family of Sports Illustrated and enjoy your video cassette. Water, our most precious resource. Without it, life on Earth as we know it would cease to exist. From the mightiest waterfall to the tiniest tributary, this sparkling liquid is our greatest friend. Water helps all plants grow. It nurtures the elements that ensure our survival. It is also a source of power that man has harnessed into a valuable working part. We interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement. Here is Station Vice President and General Manager, J.J. Faircatch. You know, I can't believe what I've been seeing. It's just lousy programming. We've been losing. We're up to here in debt. Why? Because we've been shorted. We've been giving stuff that isn't working. The kind of programming is just dreadful. I've had my people in sales turn to me and say, What's happening? What's that? Well, I'll tell you what's happening. We've got to open things up with football. I'm talking about football programming 24 hours a day. How about that? Sitcoms, game shows, little kitty shows, dog shows, animated shows, football shows. That's what we want. Even cop shows, dramatic shows. I want to see football and you're going to see football. You're going to get it on the 24 hour a day channel. Days at three. Watch the pros square off. It's Quick Six, America's favorite game show. Hands on the buzzers now as teams try to match each other to see who can score the quickest, strangest, and dumbest touchdowns at the expense of the other guy. Fumbles, fungles, and tumbles abound as moron mistakes can mean big bucks and big yucks. Madness turns to mayhem as the game's best bring you at home to the edge of your seat. It's I got it. I ain't got it. It's here we go. It's not so fast. You'll be amazed and stunned as highly paid polished pros go from forward to reverse and treat the pigskin as if it were armed and ticking. So come along every day at free as sick tricks, bad kicks, and big licks lead to loads of laughter on the game show that has everyone screaming, Quick Six. From the entertainment capital of the world, it's America's finest variety hour. Hello, this is Ed Cellophane. I hope you'll be part of our audience Sunday at 8 as we bring you the finest in 
football entertainment. We'll have a Latin American salute to the 50-yard line. Also, the world's first singing and passing popcorn vendor. And for you youngsters, it's the delightful adventures of the pigskin puppets. For international flavor, we'll have the Polynesian marching band and drill team. And from Budapest, the incredible Boleslav acrobats. Plus the hilarious hijinks of comedian Shecky Jackson. And you'll get a real kick out of Romania's Boris Blast. So for a really big show, tune in Sunday to Toast of the Turf. It's a groundskeeper's nightmare. Those stubborn stadium stains. You try rubbing them out, washing them out, even burning them away. But nothing seems to work. Imagine the embarrassment when guests discover your turf is a filthy mess. <laughs> but this can't happen with Sunshine. Sunshine is the household cleaner with a secret active ingredient. Just apply to your stadium surface, mop, and your field takes on a brilliant glow. So bright, your friends will probably need sunglasses. Soon, you'll be saying... Check out your turf, don't it look fine? Cause you wash the field with sunshine. Available at Blotto's. This is the Football Channel. Hi, this is Margot for Football Fashion Parade. Join me this week as we rub shoulders with the finest clothing designers from around the globe. Exotic footwear will be a sure topic as we find out why players are eagerly trading in their old spikes for the decorative new tasseled look. We'll also see how the red-hot trend of ripped fabrics for the athlete has caught on so quickly with fashion-conscious fans. And with cold weather approaching, we'll select appropriate glove wear and head covering that is sure to be a hit with the chic crowd. Plus my exclusive report on skin care, makeup, and grooming that will turn more than a few heads, and inside tips for preserving that manicure. So follow the smart set. Join me this week for the latest news, views, and gossip on Football Fashion Parade. It'll look good on you. Hi, everybody. I'm coach, head coach, Earl Spinster. I want to talk what, uh, to you briefly about what's been happening uh, the, the first six games of the season. It's just incredible the mistakes we've been making. And I'm really teed off, you understand? Because things have not been going our way. They haven't been every, every, every way but going our way. We've been intercepted 46 times in one quarter. That in itself. And why? 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 Let's just take a look at four quarterbacks and the money we spent not on one man, but four men. I think you can see the quarterbacks weren't quite performing up to their hefty salaries. Now, were you boys? That's not the way I showed you in practice, was it? And when I said go to the short passing game, I didn't mean that short. This one, though, takes the cake. It's hard to believe that one guy can turn a routine scramble into the sinking of the Titanic. Why didn't you just gift wrap it? Pretty grim stuff. Well, I'm tired of seeing those uh, pieces of footage on those quarterbacks. They stink, don't they? Let's go on down and see our equipment manager, Wally. He'll tell us about what happens down there. He's a good man. My job, as you know, is to reach into a chest like this. Uh, we have about 26 of them with all kinds of equipment. I'm going to bring something out now to show you that might very well help you in, in, the, in the coming games ahead. That's this one right here. Now, you want to get some money, a little extra money? Use this. Yeah. Go into the various lockers. You're going to lose friends anyway. Your chances of being on a team if you're 38 or 40 years of, of age, you ain't going to make it next season. So when you go in early, and, and go in early, pretend you're hurt. It's a little trick, I'm telling you. Pretend you're hurt, go in there and saw yourself out. 
just where you can reach in and get the guy's wallet. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Don't ever steal. Borrow. Here's another thing you're going to find in here. This is really interesting. And this fits all sizes. Yeah, don't ask for XL or don't ask for 32 or 36 or 41. This fits everything. Just look at this. Yeah, you can put this on an elephant. <laughs> and we've got Roy Tebler is an elephant. Yeah, number 35. Okay. Uh, now, I want you to always remember to come to me. Just ask for a Wally. Bad Wally, that's what they've always called me. I'm the equipment manager, and I'm going to take care of every one of you. Thank you, Wally. Again, that was very, very wonderful news. Well, semi-wonderful to, to hear you discuss uh, what the equipment is all about and how to handle it, how to wear it, etc. And now let's uh, take still another segment with bad news about our special teams. I'm going to say roll it because that's a show business term. Now watch this booming punt. Hit this one a country mile, didn't he? Any closer, and it would be in back of you. Nice job here on the center snap. Good recovery by the punter, too. And here's what happens when you punters think a little too much out there. Not a real good idea. Now, I haven't a clue as to what the heck these boys were doing on this one. And don't even bother trying to draw it up on the boy. It can't be done. stunt like this one. I'm just wondering whether these fellas know which team they were playing for. No wonder I'm getting old. I just can't believe what I've seen. I'm so mad. I could eat the back end of a lion. I tell you, these guys have, have really disappointed me. Every one of them. Every 22. And I picked them out. I'm at fault. I'll never make this mistake again next season. I'll tell you that right now. Let's go to a commercial. It's Bon Voyage on lifestyles of the football filthy rich. Private parties in luxurious limos. Whisk you uptown to plush princely pleasure palaces where you and a select group cram down caviar and imbibe the bubbly in a jacuzzi jamboree. Enjoy 24-hour football cinema classics on a high-tech widescreen at Swank Soirees. For evening repaste, Maurice seats you first, and Blue Ribbon Chefs prepare fantastic filet mignons, fit for a king. Devilishly desirable desserts, bon appetit. More ice for the Dom Perignon? No problem. Savor a rum-soaked Cuban cigar, and then it's off to the world's classiest casinos, where your luck never runs out and the showgirls dance forever. Join us each week. Ciao and a Arrivederci. Time to step back into history with Gridiron Grace. Welcome to Gridiron Greats. I'm Cleet Spikes. Our guest is that great star from the 50s, Clarence Bonecrusher Bozinski. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Cleet, and it's nice to be here. Tell us, Bonecrusher, what was your greatest moment in football? Well, I guess uh, one of the most outstanding things, Cleet, was uh, I was uh, playing against Cleveland. It was 1951, and I caught the ball... I uh, wasn't supposed to, but I caught it anyway. I come out the end zone, and I run from the 5 to the 10 to the 15 to 20, 15, 30, then 40, 40, and got down into their territory and went on into their end zone and realized, <laughs> that's that bad pop I've had, uh, that I'd, I'd, I'd run the wrong way. <laughs> I was really great. 
And now let's hear about your contemporaries of the 50s and what they had to say. Yeah, that could be fun. I remember this guy, a Bone Crusher. Uh, he was always in our training room. He was always injured. It was his bones that were being crushed. I remember watching TV when Bone Crusher played. And they used to zoom in on his face, and he'd look right at the camera, and he'd smile. And all those black teeth with the cavities just sat there. And I thought to myself, what type of a man plays this game of football? And do I really ever want to get hit by anything like that? Bone Crusher Bozinski. He was the guy that had a hard time chewing gum and walking down the street at the same time. And the people he hit that was like hitting, uh, he couldn't hurt his grandmother if he hit him. Bone Crusher. This guy's head was as hard as that rock. We used to call him Bone Head. He was probably the dumbest guy I ever met. He couldn't block, he couldn't, he couldn't kick, he couldn't run. He was horrible. He was really a horse football player. And they raced the number one draft pick on him. All I can say to you, Clay, them guys have lied. They've told heavy lies. And uh, it's just made a fool out of me. And uh, I will not stand for it. I'm really teed off. T-O, teed off. And I just think it's only fair for me to take time out to show my footage and, and, and show them and then the people the real truth. Great, great. I think that's only fair. I think it's only fair to say that. Roll it. Let's see that. The crowd really loved me, and there's always a lot of cars and people and guys selling papers. There's little kids like this snowed me. Now, here, here I am right here. Now, uh, watch what I do here. Just, just keep your eye on me there. I'm, I'm getting away. Well... Of course, I had this problem a lot, you know, when we was uh, practicing. Here I am again, though. This time, man, I had a heck of a run. Man, I was really moving. But, you know, somebody had played a trick on me and tied my shoes together. Can you imagine? And I got there, see? And it finally got to me, and I fell down. Now, this my, incident, my brother got excited and come out onto the field. And I've never forgiven my brother for this. <laughs> he made a fool of himself. I mean, I was dumb to do what I did, but look at him. He was drunk and everything, that and foolish. He had makeup on. Now, this is not my fault. I went back to get the ball. Now, here, I pick it up. It was this. And I, I, I just had a heck of a time getting rid of it. I, and when I did get rid of it, <laughs> you're not going to believe it. I give it to the other guy. Oh, look at this. Well, that's all right. Hey, don't think another thing about it. It's a good time to take a station break anyway, okay? It's time for a commercial. You're watching... The Football Channel! 25 smash sounds, 25 boss blasts. You get the NFL's 25 greatest hits, all by the original artist. Hear such stars as the Four Flankers, Signal Caller and the Audible, the Fired Coaches, Commissioner's Panel, the Block Punt Five, Blitz Brothers, to name only a few. It's all the sizzling sounds you want to play again and again by the greatest stars of yesterday and today. Back Judge and the Encroachments, the Dangling Chin Straps, NFL Mid-Round Draft Choice, and many, many more. 25 greatest hits available on LP, cassette, or compact disc. This collection will not be sold in stores, so act now. Rush $12.95, check or money order, or use your expired credit card. Send to 25 Greatest Hits, Box 666, Blindside, Kansas. Or call 1-800-555-4000. That's 1-800-555-4000. Do it today. The NFL's Greatest Hits, it'll knock you out. The following is a public service announcement from the Football Channel. Hi, Harry Wickelberger here, and a regular cameraman for the regular NFL games, both the exhibition games and, of course, the regular season. I want to say to you right now, you know, our job is not just a cakewalk by any matter of means. I take a camera like this for a typical and sometimes even bigger and, and, and put it on my shoulder and carry it there along the sidelines. You see us, and be careful of us. Be careful of the players. Be careful of the coaches. Be careful of the guys that are bringing the water coolers out with the cool drinks for them to suck on. Just be careful. One minute you're just standing around, and then some big palooka. Pow! We've all taken our share of hits. Yes, sir. And it's just as dangerous for the players, too. Oh, those walls are hard. But the greatest sideline enemy of all is 
folding chairs. And even those blasted field goal nets are nothing but trouble. Look what happened to this poor guy. It could happen to anybody down there. So be careful, will you? I'm pleading with you. Make it a fun weekend by just, you know, staying in your seat. You're watching the Football Channel. At free safety, number 48, Brent Blockmore. 48, you hammerhead, not 28. Caught you again on Candid Caper. You better watch out when you take the field. We'll find you when you least expect it. No matter what your proof or blunder is, the Candid Caper's eye is on you. Once again, it's time to inflate the whoopee cushion. Install the two-way mirror and roll the hidden camera. It's Candid Capers. And now our host, America's premier prankster, that master of mischief, Alan Punt. Hi, Alan Punt here, and welcome once again to NFL Candid Capers. We have a lot of fun looking at different footage each week. This week, we've chosen something a little different for you, whereby we, uh, well, we, we call it the atomic bomb in the guy's britches or pants. Uh, let's watch. <laughs> now, this is a spot you certainly don't want to be in. His rear end is obviously on fire. What he could really use is a tub of ice. The old atomic fireball in the pants trick. <laughs> Well, isn't that funny? <laughs> you know, as many times as I've seen that, we've had more fun putting that together. Well, uh, this is a situation that we had a lot of fun doing. Wayne Stipple, a quarterback, uh, unbeknownst to him, uh, when the ball was centered back to him, how this all came about was uh, somebody had covered the football with glue. <laughs> and <laughs> Wayne tosses the ball into the air, which is a normal pass. And, and let's take a watch and, and uh, look at and let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, here's the pass, and his poor receiver has no idea what's in store for him. He obviously wants to spike the ball so badly, but no way. That glue sticks right on contact, you know. I mean, as far as we know, old 89 still has that ball stuck in his hand. Maybe even for life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. And hey, Rick, uh, we have a special thing this evening I think you'll get a kick out of. It's called the homing device. And what we've done is this. Let come right in, and I want to let you in on this little secret. This is extra fun. Bob Shanhurst. Bob is up there right now. He's on the rim of the stadium. And he's, he's all set. Uh, Bob, are you up there? Bob? Well, super. He's all set, and so is Mel, with a homing device signal director. Let's watch. <laughs> These guys have no idea what's going on. Oh, here's a good one. Keep your eyes on the headset of this unsuspecting head coach. And watch this. We really got the homing device working this time. Just check out this guy who's running free in front of millions, and he thinks he's going to score a touchdown. <laughs> This gag seems so cruel, but hey, we don't care. <laughs> that was a special one, wasn't it? <laughs> I tell you, we have more fun. I hope you have as much fun as, as, as we, we have as you do, or you do as we have. <laughs> At any rate, this is Alan Punt and NFL Candid Capers. And remember, we'll be looking after you, and we'll, you watch us, and we'll be watching <laughs> Do you have radioactive breath? The kind where folks give you a nuclear reaction? When you take a breath, do co-workers wish it was your last? If your mouth 
is a garlic flamethrower that burns the eyes of guests, causes wildlife to migrate far away, and levels superstructures. Then why not give antiseptic turf mints a try? Turf mints is a candy mint. No, man. no, it's a breath mint. It's a candy mint. It's a breath mint. Wait, you're both right. Pop in a turf mint and get fresh breath in seconds. Turf mints. Buy them by the case. It's hip. It's hot. It's happening. The baddest hour on TV today. It's Pigskin Dance Party. Join all the groovy gridiron cats Saturday at noon for the toe tapping his two steps. Cut the rug with the big boppers as they get down and get funky. Check out the latest new crazes. See your favorite pigskin dance performers and watch them bop till they drop. So tune in or get out of town. This is the one gig you just gotta see. Big Skin Dance Party. Big Skin Dance Party, Saturdays at noon. Who will be judged America's finest football talent? Find out today on NFL Star Hunt. Here's our hostess, Miss Maud Frickert. Oh, mercy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. How delightful to be here once again, please. And I just want to welcome you to the NFL Star Hunt. You see, each week at this time, we're going to have young people from all over the country, from Mississippi, Bolton, Idaho, Numley, New Jersey, Carnway or Conway, Maine, that will participate. Yes. But first, let's meet our distinguished celebrity panel. All right? Oh, there's that young man who entertains our fighting men overseas. And that ex-actor fella. What's his name? My stars. There's got to be a mistake here. Who in blazes let that weirdo in here? We've met our panel, and now it's time to meet our four terrific acts for today. Here we go, fellas. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites the dust. And another one bites. And another one. And another one bites the dust. Hey hey! Offense, defense, special team. We entertain with the lives. You know what I mean. And another one bites the dust. Hey hey! And another one bites. And another one. And another one bites the dust. Hey hey! We float like a butterfly. We sting like a bee. The eagles are coming on. Just you wait and see. Hey, I don't know what to say. It's kind of emotional for me, you know. I left my heart in San Francisco, high up on a hill, it calls to me. So then the farmer says, uh, that's not my cow, that's my wife. Weren't they exciting? Weren't they fun? Weren't they outstanding? <laughs> we'll be right back with more of NFL Star so don't go away. Stay tuned for more on the Football Channel. Fridays at 8, it's That's Incredibly Stupid, the show where anything can happen. If you love mindless mayhem, then you've come to the right place. It's a chance to see your favorite stars pull off their zaniest stunts. Take a bunch of guys, give them something dumb to do, and watch the fun begin. Your heroes compete for valuable prizes, letting nothing stand in their way. It's a show with luck, laughs, and larceny. It'll have you and all your friends puzzled and perplexed, bewitched and bewildered, and, oh yes, howling with laughter too.
It's the program that'll leave you stunned. So for incredible thrills, incredible laughs, incredible gas, there's really only one show for you. Join us each week for That's Incredibly Stupid. NFL PD. This is the city. My name's Wednesday. It was 2 p.m., September 2nd. We were working Bunko Squad. I was eating liverwurst on rye. It was bad. Suddenly we got a word from the stadium that a 403 was in progress. Missing football player. It happens now and then. Later across town came reports of another vanishing player. An obvious pattern. The teams got nervous. Stadium security was beefed up. But it didn't put a stop to the kidnappings. The whole city was on the verge of panic. When the snoopers in the press started sticking their noses in, we swung into action. I carry a badge, NFL PD. We mobilized our cycles, put surveillance choppers on call. Even the boys in the blimp pitched in. Our crack police bloodhound Sparky was brought in to sniff out any clues. Naturally, we added our own men to watch out for any suspicious characters. 4.02 p.m. I jumped into my 57 DeSoto and hot-footed it over to the state pen. If there were any answers, these guys would have them. Thieves and cutthroats, con men and killers. The roughest bunch of scum under lock and key. They did, however, do a nice job on this year's license plates. I shook down every pug and pier 10 brawler in the big house, brought in witnesses to scan a lineup of suspects, then dispatched mug shots and police sketches to every precinct. It was the biggest dragnet this city had ever seen. Seven thirteen p.m., we finally got a break. A three-time loser pickpocket named Whitey gave us a positive M.O. The suspects wore glasses during the heist, so every guy in Specs was now on our list. 9.36 p.m., two eyewitnesses made a positive ID. The culprits, the dreaded Windy City gang. They grabbed not only players, but innocent children as well. We rounded up the entire bunch, took their gun malls into custody too. Another case closed and the city would breathe easier. That's what being a cop is all about. That's my job on the NFL PD. Having a hard time getting started each day? Falling asleep during important business meetings? Have you lost the old pep in your step? When your friends are counting on you, do you seem to come up short? If you're tired of being dead in bed and boring and snoring, what you need are new gridiron vitamins. Gridiron, each tasty, chewable tablet is loaded with the iron and vitamins you need to put the fight back in your life again. You'll bounce happily out the door each morning, and at work, nothing will hold you back. You'll leap at the chance for new opportunities and feel like a feisty teenager once more. So why feel drowsy and lousy when you can get that old bark and spark back with Gridiron? Pick up Gridiron and pick up your life. On sale now at Mel's. Leslie Fitzbuffin here. Welcome once again to Master Punt Theatre. Tonight's musical magnificence is written by the magnificent uh, conductor himself, who's toured all over the country, Clive Mellengrove. And it's the dance of the unusual. Men, 22 of them, jumping, fumbling, dancing in the air, as it were. And now the conductor here once again to mount the stand. Here he is. I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hello again. Do you remember me? I remember you. Things didn't go too well in the first half, so to speak, of the symphony, did they? But things have been corrected. Oh, yes. I think you'll see the chaps in the dance of the unusual correcting itself. And their little thimbly little fingers catching things that they didn't catch in the first part. Cheers to all of them. And I know you'll all enjoy yourselves immensely, much more, in this last half. The time at the tone, 11 p.m. The Football Channel Evening News. And now, first in goal and the award-winning Football Channel News team. Okay, we can lose the typewriter effect. That's certainly enough typing. Benny, I said that's enough. I'm sorry, Mr. Goal. I didn't know we were on. <laughs> Good evening. Up front tonight, it seems that the wave phenomenon that swept its way through stadiums nationwide has finally crested. Once a common fan occurrence, it appears interest has waned and now only a handful still participate. So along with the hula hoop, long hair, and the miniskirt, the wave craze has apparently died. In Toledo, tadpole head coach Mike Mackerel has had his reputation restored. 
The story began a month ago, when Mackerel apparently went berserk and began attacking his own quarterback. Two weeks later, Mackerel went over the edge once again, shouting invectives and threatening the very life of his young signal caller. Actually, it wasn't the confused Mike Mackerel at all. As it was learned yesterday, the real attacker was Mike's evil twin, Marty, who had escaped from a mental hospital. Simply a case of mixed up mackerels. Well, now that that mystery has been solved, it's time to find the solution of another. That mystery will be this year's head cheerleader of those luscious Lexington Lady Lemmings. <laughs> With that story, our man on the scene, Cleet Spikes. Cleet? Thank you, Thurston. I see the uh, Lady Lemmings are down there on the field, so let's find out just who they are. Let's go down there and see those winners. Third runner-up is Suzette Christenzio. Our second runner-up is Marianne Andreset. The first runner-up is Cass Vanderslice. And the new captain of this year's cheerleading squad is none other than Miss Maud Fricker. Now, listen, pay attention. Don't worry about your looks. You've already got those and great bodies. God was good to you. All right, to all of you. And just remember, don't worry about these mums. Just give the cheer, that's all. Eyes like a wildcat. Teeth like a saw. Springfield Wildcats! Rah, rah, rah! Ah, 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 ah. Go get them! Go get them! Try to get them! Ah. Well, congratulations, Marty, and thanks a lot there, Cleet. And now it's time to go to our Action Cam team, who is standing by live with head referee Pete Penalty, who's here to tell us his story concerning the ongoing referee's disagreement. Hi. I'm just a regular referee. Uh... No need to really mention my name. If it has been mentioned, then I appreciate that. But I, I try to do my job, you know, just to throw a yellow handkerchief on a great big field. That's kind of demeaning in itself, but I can handle it. I am a referee. I work hard. I don't get the money them tackles do, them right guards, left guards, them ends, and certainly the quarterback. I don't get that kind of money, but I'm out there not for the money, believe it or not. I'm out there to do a job and to do it right. And I'm proud to say, touchdown. <laughs> I'm proud to do this. Clipping, clipping, you know, and proud to do this. These are my new signals. Yeah, that's testing whether I've got both wristwatches on. <laughs> you have to have a little humor out there. At least I think so. Watch this now and see what I'm talking about. Before the game even starts, there's always those dummies up there in the stands making fun of us and telling us how to do our jobs. Then the players start imitating us. They think they're real funny, I guess, but they're not. One time a fan unleashed his Labrador Retriever, and my good buddy Clem Parker got bit. Turned out, that mutt was infected, and Clem had to be rushed to the hospital for treatment and a tetanus shot, and I got stuck with an ugly job. That was a terrible guy. But then the players, well, they flat out went gunning for us. It started out real innocent-like when they'd wait for the whistle at the end of the play and then sort of accidentally run us over. Then my head linesman one Sunday, Charlie, well, they just plain went right after him. They seemed to have it in the most for Charlie. By the time they got through with him, he wasn't doing so good. Still, he managed to make the call before he blacked out. If this continues, I'm simply going to have to take matters into my own hands. And believe me, I will. Speaking for all my guys, we've had it up to here. More woes are plaguing the league as expensive goalposts are dropping like flies. Rising replacement costs have the commissioner considering the use of the human upright, a cheaper portable version of the real thing. So far, the whole idea seems downright upright and gives new meaning to the phrase, up in arms. A disturbing story this evening comes to us from the once proud Bayonne Beaver franchise. What 70,000 Beaver boosters thought was a salute to their heroes of the past turned out to be a desperation drive for dollars to save a team 
whose books are awash in red ink. Mm. Not good. The financially bankrupt Beavers were forced to give a dirty job to the only coach they've ever had as their saddened leader took on the painful role of auctioneer. If you'd like to help, call 1-800-BEAVER. I repeat, if you'd like to help, call 1-800-BEAVER. And now the weather. Thank your lucky stars you weren't at Bellancourt Stadium today. By kickoff, the mercury had soared to a record high of 106 degrees. By the end of the first quarter, a storm roared in across the mountains with hurricane gale force winds clocked at over 80 miles per hour. By the third quarter, a downpour had completely drenched the field and the four fans who had stuck out the typhoon. By game's end, temperatures plummeted to minus 40 degrees, making it a wind chill factor of nearly minus 100. Seven records were shattered, but not the spirits of our gridiron heroes. Speaking of heroes, I think Geraldo has finally struck pay dirt. Let's go back to the vault. I never did find that footage on Grant versus Lee at Appomattox. My, but mercy, look at this footage here. Oh, yes. Oh, you should see this. Oh, these cheerleaders. Oh, blondes and brunettes and redheads. Oh, here's what, look at this, on a body of a chick that just won't quit. Look at her hands, how tiny they are. Look at the faces. Oh, look at this. <laughs> these people don't even have to jump in the air. They're in the air. Oh, boy, look how high That's they That's quite a find there, Araldo. That is you, isn't it? You know, for a moment there, I thought it was... <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Next, our late movie, and this evening, it's a documentary entitled Hydroelectric Power and You. For all of us at the Football Channel, have a pleasant evening. Water, our most precious resource. Without it, life on Earth as we know it would cease to exist. From the mightiest waterfall to the tiniest... I gotta tell you about this terrific deal Time Magazine's got. I mean, you ought to see what they're giving away free. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Yes, I did. I picked it up on the way home. Okay. See you later. Love you, too. 
Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. You get time at more than 40% off the cover price, which is terrific all by itself. But look at what you get free with your paid subscription. Excuse me. Hello? Bill! Yeah. Oh, it was some game, huh? Uh, uh, Bill, look, can I call you back later? Yeah, thanks. Bye. Um, ooh, Time Magazine. Well, you know how good Time is, how it gets behind the news and anticipates trends and gives you the people side of what's happening. So you get that nice feeling that you really know what's going on. And you get more than 40% off for 30 full weeks. You can even pay in four monthly installments of just $8.49. It's a terrific deal, so call them now. Call. I almost forgot. You get this, too. The Ultronic Designer Telephone. Free! It's one of the best-looking phones around. It has extra-large push buttons, and it even comes in your choice of four colors. It's got all sorts of features. Automatic redial for when you get a busy signal. Hello? Oh, Phil and Marsha. Most boring people in the world. Oh, don't worry. They can't hear me. I hit the mute button. Oh, dinner tomorrow night? Well, we'd love to. Great. Bye. Hello? Uh, no, this is not Frank's Bike Shop. It even has a ringer cutoff switch for when you don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> there. Just call 1-800-525-5400. You'll get 30 weeks of time for more than 40% off the cover price and the Ultronic Designer phone free. Call now, 1-800-525-5400. Use your phone to get this phone and tell them whether you want it in red, blue, gray, or white. It's the most beautiful offer time has ever made, so call now. The research showed us that most of the business on Route 4... Inside, you've got a total alteration of the building I don't side. think the board could ever recommend Budget that. Budget discussion. Not only did now, we cover this point. Right. Um, excuse me, Richard's schedule is rather tight today. He has another presentation. I do have flight 139 leaving in 20 minutes, but only in first class. I'll take it. Okay, they're calling my flight. I'll be there. You know what just started. Isn't she beautiful? Where is she? The second potted plant from the left. Coming through when you're needed most. Membership has its privileges.